Great news for our human brain organoid friends. If you're not familiar, brain organoids are tiny human brains that can be grown from stem cells, and you can grow a variety of different organ structures by themselves. They've been invaluable tools in research and have even been applied to computation. Yes, you can take a little tiny human brain, assemble it with a chip, and have it learn to solve your problems. In fact, they become literally addicted to solving your problems as they train them on dopamine. Some people have concerns about the ethics of it. It gets a little weird when you give it a robot body, which several people have. One of the great challenges in science is trying to isolate different factors involved. Having a mouse liver, for example, in an entire mouse does provide additional challenges. In fact, they've used largely male mice in research to try to isolate the hormone issue because female mice can grow tumors naturally. When you just grow an organoid, you are isolating just that organ and just that response. It's ideal if you want to know about the function on the most minute levels, but you do lose context. Having a single brain organoid that was derived from a single person means that you're pretty much testing medication on that one person, which is why some have tried to create chimeric brain organoids. So you have a bunch of different cell lines from a bunch of different people and have them work together so you can monitor how the drug is affecting the brain organoids in multiple individuals, all in the same brain. In the last few years, a great deal of research has been done to figure out if brain organoids can treat brain injuries like strokes. One of the things that had been tried was taking stem cells and then just putting it on an injured brain, but it never took hold. When we are born, and a little bit before that, we are in a unique situation in which our brains are still growing. We still have stem cells, we can still allow them to divide, and our brain cells live for about 100 years. But after we hit adulthood, our ability to recover from brain injury is severely diminished. In some circumstances, other portions of the brain can take over for needed jobs. This is why if someone is very young, you can even do a hemispherectomy and take out an entire hemisphere of somebody's brain and they can live a pretty normal life. You cannot do that in an adult. But what you can do is essentially grow a baby brain or a baby brain component, pop it into the injured brain, and it forms projections all the way down to the brainstem. You can even do this with chimeras. You can take a human brain organoid, pop it in a mouse's brain, and it makes those connections. I've talked to researchers who have done this, and the only ones that say absolutely that they are smarter is when they're grown with human neural cells mixed in with them when they're an embryo. This leads us to a lot of ethical questions. Are we uplifting another species? Is it cruel? Well, I'd say it's probably cruel to keep mice in a lab anyway. Adding some more intelligence is the shaky territory. But back to treatments, and this one I am really, really excited for because we are at the precipice of moving to humans. You can take mice with induced Parkinson's disease. That's essentially the dysfunction and the ability to produce dopamine. You can take brain organoids made from healthy adult humans who have the correct amount of dopamine, and it can reverse Parkinson's. This is something that's fairly close to my heart because I have ADHD and my grandfather did pass from Parkinson's. As we're moving from mice models, we're not that far off from moving to humans. I think we'll start to see human transplantation of human brain organoids to humans in 2025. In fact, it was already done in macaque monkeys with simulated strokes. This is the part I'm excited for. Not computation, not making biological robots with human brains, which has been done. I'm excited for the ability to heal injuries that we've never had even a shot to heal before. Are you